you guys, it's Sally. I am back and I am dark haired again. What do you think? What do you think? Um, I thought I would do a quick 101 on how to darken light hair because I just did it. So <laughs> I thought it'd be really cool to show you exactly how I got this look and what products I used and what kind of things you need to know if you're going from light hair to really dark hair. So what do you think, first of all? Do you like it? I feel better with darker hair. I think I look better with darker hair. I think I look healthier with darker hair. Um, I prefer darker hair. Yeah, pretty much. So, <laughs> if you're a new subby and you haven't seen me with this dark hair, surprise! Uh, if you're an old subby, then you're used to seeing me this way, so it's no big deal for you. Um, but anyways, so <laughs> let's get into the tutorial. Um, so it's not actually a tutorial, but I'm not actually going to color my hair, but I'm going to show you exactly what I used and how I chose the color that I chose, okay? So the first thing you need to know is that hair starts off with the three primary colors. So you've got blue, red, and yellow, the three primary colors. When you lighten hair, the first color to leave your hair is the blue. Then what you're left with is the red and the yellow. That's why if you have dark hair like mine and you lighten the hair, the first color that you see is orange because red and yellow make orange. So that's why when people lighten their hair, when their hair is really dark, it looks orangey. And they have to keep lightening it and lightening it and lightening it until it gets to like a pale yellow color. And then what we use is called a toner to tone the yellow down of the hair. So we use something like a violet or an ash, like a bluish tone, to cancel out the yellow so you get this really beautiful kind of white blonde. Okay, so that's how you get a nice, neutral, beautiful blonde, is you lighten the hair to the pale yellow and then you tone it, or you lighten it until whatever level, and then you have to offset it with a color. So to cancel out orange, you use blue. To cancel out yellow, you use violet. Okay, so those are the, this is just color 101 for you right now. So when you're doing the opposite, when you're taking really light hair, like a blonde, and you're going to really dark, you need to redeposit or repigment your hair with those primary colors. So obviously, when you have really light hair, you're missing that orange color, right? You're missing that coppery color. So then you have to re-put that in your hair before you actually go darker. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with a really bad greenish tone. And the reason for that is that if you use a neutral kind of color, neutral has a lot of blue or ashiness in it. So you can't just put an ash brown on, on yellow hair, because on light yellow hair, you're gonna end up with green, because yellow and blue make green. So don't do that. <laughs> Never, ever, ever put an ash colored brown, dark brown color in lightened hair, because you're gonna end up with green and it's gonna look horrible, and getting green out is just not fun. Because to cancel green, you need to use red. And I'm talking like fire engine, coppery, you are strawberry shortcake red. <laughs> so you don't want to do that ever, ever, never do that. So what I did was I used a dark kind of gold coppery tone on my hair and then I went and colored it with the color that I wanted. So the color that I wanted was a 3N, which is a level three. It's a pretty dark brown color. And I used a neutral tone because I didn't want it to be too red or too ashy. And the color line that I used was Coloros by Goldwell. I absolutely love this line. Um, one of the things you want to consider when you're darkening hair too is um, figuring out what product line to use and then also figuring out what type of product. Do you want to use a permanent, a semi-permanent, or a demi-permanent somewhere in the middle? And uh, demi-permanent is like the best option nine times out of ten if you're darkening light hair because the demi-permanent is not as harsh as a permanent color would be, but it still has staying power that a semi-permanent may not have. It may wash the hair, it may wash out of the hair. But the thing with light hair is that it tends to be very porous. It sucks up color really quickly. So that's why when you go darker, you may also want to start doing your roots first, color all your roots, let it process for half the time. Say if it was a 30 minute process, you process it for 15 minutes, then pull it through, pull the color through on your ends that are gonna soak up the color faster than the roots, right? Because they're more porous and damaged. And then process for the remainder of the time. So this is how you recolor or repigment light hairs to dark. So that's the lesson right there, people. <laughs> um, but the colorants that I use 
is amazing. It's an amazing demi permanent. It doesn't have a lot of ammonia, so it doesn't smell really bad. And um, and you use a developer just as you would like regular peroxide for a permanent hair color. And this is the one that I use. I use the intensive line. I've heard that this is really good. I don't actually know, so I can't tell you 100%. But um, I spoke to the lady at the beauty supply store, and she told me this is the best solution to use if I want staying power with my um, color on school wall uh, color. So I use the intensive lotion and I just put it in a bottle and use two parts of lotion to one part of the color. You mix it up in a bottle and you start doing your thing. So <laughs> it was actually a pretty quick process, pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, so my question for you is, would you like to see a tutorial on how I color my hair? Because well, obviously I've already colored it, but I can show you how I do my roots and how easy and simple it actually is. So let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. And if you have any questions at all, any color questions, I can help you out. Uh, just an FYI, I am a hairstylist, a licensed hairstylist, and I am a licensed color technician. I did color. Um, after I was done my schooling and I got my license, I just did strictly color. So I'm fairly familiar with color. It's been a while, but I still remember a lot of the fundamentals. So if you have any questions at all, let me know and I can answer them for you, okay? Talk to you later. Bye. Peace out. <laughs>